friends. Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. But today is not only a massive grocery haul, it's a special haul because we are talking all things fall, all things pumpkin. I went to three stores this week and scooped up everything pumpkin related. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I myself have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, come join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's jump into this pumpkin palooza haul. So here is my massive, massive Trader Joe's haul. I got a lot. I pretty much bought everything I could find that was fall and pumpkin, some of my favorite things, some new things to try. If you're interested in pumpkin items or fall items from Trader Joe's, she said that everything is in store. So if you want it, grab it because none of it lasts very long. So I made a trip all the way in to Trader Joe's, 45 minutes each way so that I could share with you all my good fall finds. So let's jump in. So the first thing I picked up is my unsweetened applesauce. This is my favorite unsweetened applesauce. It's organic, super, super affordable. I sub oil in recipes with applesauce. It works perfectly. And then it also makes a really good snack. And then they did have their seasonal little candles. They had the harvest apple and the vanilla pumpkin. I smelt them both and I think this one smells a lot better. The pumpkin one to me didn't have a lot of scent and sometimes the throw on these isn't that great and this one definitely smelled like juicy apples i did pick up the organic corn chips for troy he did he's eating those dips that we got from daisy for free in a couple grocery hauls back he's been using those and he asked about corn chips so i picked these up these are our all-time favorite corn chips and speaking of chips this is my all-time favorite these are the cashio a pepe puff so it's cheese and pepper corn snacks kind of like pirate's booty a little bit or like a mix between that and a Cheeto, but it has this pepper seasoning. It's so good. I only got one bag because I love them that much. I didn't want to overdo it, so one bag. I did grab one can of pumpkin. She said people will order this by the case. It's a really good price and it's organic. And you know, I've been doing a lot of pumpkin recipes. And then I also picked up two cans of their sliced olives. Olives are so expensive, and Trader Joe's is a pretty good price, $1.69 a can. I was paying $4 for the large can at my Kroger store, so I did grab two small cans. Pick this up as a side dish for us. The lady who checked me out at Trader Joe's said this is her favorite pumpkin thing that comes in. She just cooks it up in a little bit of butter and kind of makes like a brown butter sauce. It gets nice and crispy. This is the Honey Roasted Pumpkin Ravioli, and she said she pairs this with a protein like chicken or steak. So we're gonna do this as a side dish. I definitely had to grab it, of course, because it is a pumpkin. And then cheese, I always stock up my favorite cheeses. So I have the light shredded mozzarella, the light Mexican style blend, and then my Jarlsberg light Swiss. This is my favorite Swiss cheese. It's only 50 calories per slice and it's delicious. And I can't find it anywhere other than Trader Joe's. So I went ahead and picked that up. These are some new protein bars. I've never seen these before and they have them at Trader Joe's. So I grabbed one of each of the flavors. This is from the brand Misfits and these are plant powered protein bars. 15 grams of protein, about 170, 180 calories. This one is chocolate caramel and this one is chocolate cookie butter. Both sound really, really good. I'm gonna take those with me when I go to Hawaii here in another week or so. And then Troy wanted a salad, a pasta salad. They didn't really have anything, but they did have their old fashioned potato salad. So I grabbed that for him so that it's a quick, easy lunch or side dish. This is my all time favorite kombucha. I haven't been drinking kombucha as much as I should. The fermentation and probiotics in kombucha is really good for your gut. And this is my all time favorite flavor. This is the living in gratitude. So it's apple to turmeric, carrot, and spices. It's so good. So I picked up two bottles. I usually drink about a half of a bottle at a time. And then Trader Joe's spices, best price you can find. So I did grab the organic cinnamon because I was almost out of cinnamon. And then the pumpkin pie spice, of course. 
and garlic. And then my favorite is the onion salt. I use this every time I make eggs. So I picked up another one of that. I did grab some mums because they're beautiful and they give me all the fall feelings. So these were $4.99 and mums will literally last weeks. So I picked those up and then these are open and these are delicious. These are the mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. I had a couple of these on my way home. They're super good. You can have 21 of them for the points and calories and they're really good. They taste just like little mini Reese's. I had like four or five of them and it totally satisfied a sweet tooth. And then this is something I always buy at Trader Joe's. This is the organic unsweetened flaked coconuts. I like this on my yogurt bowls. I like this topped smoothies or protein shakes and there's no added sugar to this. So if you have a recipe that calls for coconut, this is a good alternative just because there's no added sugar. And then I grabbed the fall leaf tortilla chips. I actually picked up two bags. So Thanksgiving last year, my mother-in-law really, really liked these and my in-laws never go to green, or never go to, uh, Trader Joe's because it's in Tucson and they never go to Tucson. So I picked her up a bag as well and we're gonna give them, give her that when Troy sees his dad tomorrow. And then I picked up a bag of the fall leaf chips for myself as well. My favorite sesame oil, hands down, is the one from Trader Joe's. This is the organic sesame oil. I was waiting to go to Trader Joe's to restock my oil. And then I picked these up. I hemmed and hawed about these, put them back grab them, put them back, grab them. And then I thought, you know what? Let's get these because this would be really good topped a pumpkin yogurt or even a yogurt bowl. So these are the pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. And the macros weren't much different than regular roasted pumpkin seeds and they're seasonal. So I thought that I would pick them up. I typically put like a tablespoon on top and it gives a nice crunch and pumpkin seeds are actually really good for you. Two bags of their seasonal dog treats. These are the pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffies. So I did grab two bags. They had their pumpkin dog biscuits, which Lola likes, but Palmer doesn't really like crunchy treats. So I didn't get those. I just got these soft ones. And then I got one of my favorite pumpkin things and that's the pumpkin biscotti. I love this dipped in my coffee. It is so good. I love biscotti in general, but the pumpkin one just has the perfect fall flavors. And then this is another thing along with the ginger that I usually get. I didn't see the ginger. They didn't have it, but they did have the soft and juicy mango. I'm going to save one of these bags to take with me to Hawaii. And then I got a second one for snacking. I count this as zero points because it has the same macros as regular mango. So I don't count it, but it's a good fruit option and it's a dried fruit and it is so good. I also grabbed pumpkin waffles because they're pumpkin and we got these last year and they are super good. Both Troy and I like a good frozen waffle sometimes for breakfast. And then of course I had to get the pumpkin Jojo's, which is Trader Joe's version of the pumpkin Oreos, but they're way better. I bought the pumpkin Oreos at Target and they were good, but the pumpkin Jojo's from Trader Joe's, I think are way, way better. And then I grabbed the fall harvest salsa to go with those tortilla chips so that we could have chips and salsa one night. This sounds so good. It has pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. So I thought that was interesting for a salsa and it is mild, so it shouldn't be too spicy. And then I also grabbed the mild pico de gallo just so we had a couple different salsa options. Trader Joe's is one of the only places that I can find fat-free feta, and I love feta cheese, especially on my eggs and on my salad, so I did pick that up. And then I got hemp seeds because I've been buying them um, in bulk at Sprouts, and they're just a way better deal at Trader Joe's. $6.50 for this bag, and I put hemp seeds on my yogurt bowl every single day. And did you know that you can give hemp seeds to your dogs? I guess it's supposed to be a really good healthy fat for them and source of protein, like you could sprinkle it on their food. So I may try that, but I love love having these on my yogurt bowl. And then my other all-time favorite thing besides the biscotti is the pumpkin cream cheese. I'm obsessed with the pumpkin cream cheese from Trader Joe's. I actually bought two of them. I like these on a bagel. So I use the Western bagel. Spoiler alert, their pumpkin ones are coming out. So stay tuned. I'll share those in a video. I like pumpkin bagels with pumpkin cream cheese, or I'll do the plain Western bagels, the alternative ones with pumpkin cream cheese. So of course I picked up two. I also really like these crackers. These are the pumpkin cranberry crisp. By the way, these crackers with this cream cheese, really good. If you want kind of a decadent, crunchy, sweet snack, these are delicious. They have 
pumpkin and cranberry in this little crisp bread. So they're really, really hard and crispy. You actually can have 11 crackers for 80 calories. So it's a super low calorie snack. I have never tried this. This is the overnight oats and they had it in pumpkin. So I had to get it to try. It is a hundred, it's 200 calories, which seems like a lot for this little thing of oats, but I may actually pop in some added protein. I just thought that this would be good as a breakfast post workout. And since it was pumpkin, I had to try it. And then speaking of pumpkin, I cannot find pumpkin yogurt anywhere. I have looked at every store. I've tried a handful of stores, at least half a dozen, can't find it, but Trader Joe's had their Greek non-fat pumpkin yogurt. I actually really like this. It's 130 calories, 13 grams of protein. So I picked up four. They were only 99 cents a piece, which is really, really good. Lots of frozen things. That's one of my favorite sections at Trader Joe's. I grabbed the tater tots just as a side. We could throw this in the air fryer. I've actually never had the Trader Joe's tater tots. And then I grabbed the chicken fried rice. Troy really likes this. It makes a super easy dinner. And then this is my favorite frozen fruit from there. These are the pitted dark sweet cherries. I love this with the Clean Simple Eats Cola protein powder. It tastes like a cherry Coke. It's so good. So I grabbed those. And then I also picked up the chicken pot stickers, Gyoza pot stickers. These make a really, really good side dish. And you can have four of them for only 130 calories. I like to throw those in the air fryer. And then this is a new thing. These are beef tamales. I got those for Troy. He likes tamales. And I thought that he could try out the Trader Joe's. And then Cacio de Pepe. This is a spaghetti pasta with that same pepper that is in these chips, but just in a pasta form. We like to have these on hand for side dishes. It makes it really easy, just a veggie, a protein, and then you simply throw this in a pan with some water and you have a side dish. So we grab that and the fettuccine Alfredo, which is Troy's favorite. There's a red sauce one that he likes too, but I couldn't find that one. So I did grab the Alfredo. And then some organic little baby potatoes. These are great to throw in the crock pot with a pot roast or to throw in the air fryer. I did grab some lettuce for salads, romaine and chicory blend, and then some baby cucumbers. These are so cute. These are organic Persian cucumbers. You guys know how much we love cucumbers. And then I did grab some watermelon chunks just to have watermelon cut up. That is one thing I hate cutting up with a passion is watermelon, so I like to buy it pre-cut, ready to go. And then I did get a delicata squash. I love delicata squash. You just roast this in the oven. Maybe I'll save this and share it with you guys in a what I eat in a day because it is such a good side dish and it's really, really easy to prepare. And then last but not least, a cinnamon broom. This smells amazing. I'm going to put this in my car. It smells like cinnamon. I mean, very strong cinnamon. They had a big one as well that people often put on their porch or in their living space so that it smells like cinnamon. But I thought this was super cute for my car. So that's everything, holy moly. That is a big Trader Joe's haul that I picked up. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the grocery haul. So here is the rest of my massive grocery haul, all pumpkin, all fall inspired from both Sprouts and my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. So let's jump into Sprouts. So I went ahead and picked up two packs of raspberries. These were two for five, which is a really good deal. I like having raspberries on my yogurt bowls a lot or if I have oatmeal. So I always like to have some type of berry, not to mention raspberries are packed with fiber. And then I grabbed a couple of onions for some recipes as well as some baby spinach for recipes and also as an addition to salad. Carrots and celery. This is for a dinner recipe this next week. And then they did have their pineapple chunks and their cantaloupe chunks reduced. I like to put pineapple on my cottage cheese, so I picked that up. And then the cut up pineapple chunk. So I picked up my favorite crackers because they were actually on sale for $3.99 and then there was a dollar off coupon. So $2.99, which is amazing. These are the Chetties. I got the white cheddar, which I've never tried. And then my favorite is just the traditional classic sea salt. These are kind of like Cheez-Its, but they actually have protein in them and really, really good ingredients. So I grabbed those. And then for pumpkin, I really just shopped the whole pumpkin area at Sprouts. They have the pumpkin spice Clio Greek yogurt bars. I love these nine grams of protein. Really, really good snack. In fact, the lady who was checking me out said, 
but she loves these. She said it feels like a dessert and she's getting in some Greek yogurt and some protein. These were on sale, so I picked up two. And then the mother load of Chobani Zero Sugar Pumpkin Spice Yogurt. You guys know the Chobani Zero Sugar is my all-time favorite, and I have not been able to find the pumpkin spice anywhere, and finally Sprouts had it. They were two for $3, so I picked up six. And then I also got the Calypia Farms Pumpkin Spice Coffee Creamer. You know I've been doing a lot of my cold brew at home and I'm out of my pumpkin spice creamer for my pumpkin cold brew. So I did get the Calypia Farms Pumpkin Spice. And then these right here, I tried these at the nutrition conference I went to in California. These are incredible. If you like the Trader Joe's Bombas, that's kind of what these are like, but I think they're better. Crafted from simple and nutritious ingredients, navy beans, rice, and peanuts and they actually have protein, 130 calories and five grams of protein per serving. And I was actually going to go order these online after the conference and they were really expensive. And Sprouts had them for $2.99 a bag. They had barbecue, jalapeno, they had a bunch of different flavors. I just grabbed the peanut butter. The Sprouts white meat shredded chicken, this is always something I pick up. I actually need shredded chicken for a recipe and this is super convenient. And then my Roar waters were actually on sale two for four. So I grabbed a cucumber watermelon and the Georgia peach. These are probably my two favorite flavors and they're just a really good post-workout supplement drink with lots of electrolytes and vitamins. And then lastly, I stopped by the bulk section because we have a lake day for my boot camp group this Saturday. We're spending the entire day at a lake in Arizona and we're supposed to be bringing food to share. So I'm making little sandwiches. I'll show you those in my Kroger haul. And then I'm making a Halloween mix that has cereal and candy corn and nuts and all sorts of good stuff. So I did grab the mini peanut butter cups from the bulk section for that mix. I also needed salted peanuts and then chopped pecans. This is for a, another recipe video. And then of course you could add this to that little Halloween mix as well. So that is everything from Sprouts. Let's jump into Fry's or the Kroger store. So the first thing is two gallons of skim milk for Troy. We always pick up a couple gallons every week. And then I stopped by the reduced bakery aisle. They didn't have as much as normal, but I did grab these. This is interesting that you can buy half of a pie. This is the peach praline pie, and these were 50% off, so it ended up being about $3. And then this one sounds amazing. This is an apple pie, also $3. So I picked those up. For that Halloween mix, I needed mini pretzels and bugles. So those are some of the crunch that's in the mix. I also stopped by the meat section and found ground beef for $3.79 a pound. This is the Simple Truth Organic. Really, really good price, so I picked up three pounds just to throw them in my freezer. Definitely check your reduced meat section, either cook it right away or freeze it. You can just save a ton of money. And then I was gonna get the Hawaiian slider rolls for my boot camp lake day. And then I saw these in the reduced bakery section. These ended up being $2 a pack which was cheaper than one pack of Hawaiian rolls and I'll make 16 little sandwiches for boot camp. So I'm bringing little sandwiches and the Halloween mix. I also needed Cheerios and rice checks for that mix and then whatever's left over, Tori will eat as cereal. I was excited to see this, skinny dipped almonds, pumpkin spice. I am heading to Hawaii here in less than a week and I'm gonna take these with me. I love the skinny dipped almonds, 140 calories, three grams of protein per serving and they're really, really delicious. I've never tried the pumpkin spice, so I'm super excited. And then I did pick up a can of pumpkin for a few recipes coming up this next week. I was out of chili powder, so I restocked my chili powder. And then I saw a recipe on TikTok, which we're gonna try out in the next What I Eat in a Day, making homemade chicken nuggets in your air fryer, low carb. So there's no breading or anything, and it's using canned chicken. So I only bought one can because if I like it, I'll stock up next time I go to Costco or Sam's, but we're gonna try that recipe out. I'm super excited for that. I got some one third less fat cream cheese. This is for a recipe. Also some white chocolate chips. I think I'm going to throw these in that Halloween mix just for some added color. It actually calls for the little candy eyeballs. I couldn't find those. Well, I found them at Fry's, but they were really expensive for just a handful. So I'm gonna skip those and for the white element, I'm going to use white chocolate chips. 
And then I grabbed some candy corn. That is also in that Halloween mixture. I have a recipe that calls for chicken broth, so I picked up bone broth instead just for the added protein. Actually, nine grams of protein per serving, and chicken broth has zero. So this is just a good alternative to up the protein in any recipe that calls for chicken or beef broth. And then some more cottage cheese. This was still on sale for $3.79. I saw it at Sprouts for $5.79, so a much, much better deal at Kroger stores. I grabbed Troy a loaf of his bread. This is the Dave's Killer Bread White Done Right. And then I wanted some plain whipped cream. I still have the flavored ones from Target. I put these on my yogurt bowls, my protein pudding, my Ninja ice cream, fruit. Sometimes I do fruit and whipped cream for dessert. So I picked up just some traditional whipped cream. I did grab some deli ham and deli turkey. This is for the little sandwiches for the lake day with my boot camp group. And then some red potato salad with egg for Troy. Really, really good deal on that. And besides the Diet Coke and Gatorade Zero in the garage, I also grabbed some peaches. We have been on a big peaches kick and these were on sale for 88 cents a pound. So that is the rest of this big grocery haul, all things pumpkin fall. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. So today's Saturday, of course, out to dinner. Tomorrow we are going to do a pizza night. Monday I'm going to make Baja tacos. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday is a fried rice with chicken. And then Thursday and Friday will be leftovers. I am leaving for Hawaii on Friday. So they're so Troy will eat any leftovers. And what you'll see in Monday's meal prep, I'm doing a fall pumpkin meal prep. Everything is fall, everything is pumpkin. So for breakfast, we're doing actually a pumpkin chai muffin. So excited for that. Lunch, we're doing pumpkin pasta with walnuts and spinach. Also sounds amazing. And then for dessert, we're making these delicious pumpkin pie bar. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for today's massive pumpkin palooza grocery haul. I am so excited about everything pumpkin. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I was able to make it to Trader Joe's, Sprouts, and Kroger this week. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have have you. Let me know down below which of these pumpkin items are you picking up and I'll see you next time. Bye!